Hey, this is Jay Lee from frogcube.com. And as you can see, I've been working on this internal circulation fan uh, to go inside uh, my tanks. And this is my test tank right here I'm using. Uh, eventually, I plan to put them in uh, these tanks right here. But I uh, thought I'd show you how I make this fan. And uh, here's uh, an example one here. I'm, I'm building, uh, well, a bunch of them back there, as you can see. But uh, here's uh, one example right here. And I wanted to show you how I did it. As you may notice, uh, I use a lot of 2-inch holes in my tanks for uh, vents. And uh, these holes have no CM mosquito mesh on top of them and are pushed into place by uh, these 2-inch uh, sn snap-in bushings. And I was thinking to myself, you know what, I should take these 2-inch snap-in bushings and just uh, hook them onto a 50-millimeter uh, uh, PC fan. But uh, in order to do that, I got some uh, welder here, uh, welder adhesive. And uh, I also got some of these uh, O-rings. These uh, O-rings here. And uh, some of these, uh, well... My wife uses these to uh, hold her hair <laughs> uh, back, uh, sort of like a ponytail holder. Uh, but she had a bunch of them, so I figured I'd just take those and the welder and glue it around the sides here so that I could make this fan. I know, not the best job in the world, but hey, you know, it seemed to do the trick. Uh, the no CM mosquito mesh was definitely great to keep the fan safe and give a little bit of space so the air could really get sucked in and out. But then there was a question of how was I going to mount it to the tank. Um, also, I wanted to make sure that this end piece uh, was able to get all the way outside of the tank so I could plug it in to something like uh, this uh, four-channel fan controller, which, uh, as you can see, is uh, what's controlling the fan right here. So uh, what I did was I took these uh, half-inch uh, cut-off risers and I cut a groove. After I cut one of these off, you just uh, cut them right along the edge here, and then I cut a groove into it. And uh, I glued that on to the edge of the fan here, as you can see. And then I took one of these... Uh, half inch uh, swing joint elbows and I screwed that on the end and then I needed to find a way to uh, connect it to the top here uh, in the glass and I figured I'd uh, well in this case I'm actually using uh, a snap-in uh, for uh, a one inch uh, hole so a snap-in bushing for a one inch hole but uh, Later on, I'm probably just going to uh, drill holes with this, I uh, don't know if you can even read that, uh, but uh, 3 quarter inch or 20 millimeter uh, glass drill bit here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll use this uh, sh uh, full pattern shrub sprinkler head, and I take the top piece of the head, and just like you see here, I screw the elbow joint into that head and uh, the top of that head actually can unscrew right off just like it is right there and I took the hole out of it and I took a half inch drill bit and drilled a hole straight through that so it's very easy to screw on here as you can see I have that half inch hole so it made it easy to thread this so I didn't have to uh, disconnect it and I'm sorry that <laughs> this is one of my worst videos here <laughs> because it's hard to show all of these pieces and kind of show how I did it without doing a step-by-step. -step. But uh, it's worked really well. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, building a whole bunch here. Uh, it's definitely a learning process, uh, but uh, the parts are not that expensive. I will list the parts. Hopefully, I've already listed the parts on this video so you know, and uh, that pretty much about does it for me. Still uh, messing around with my room here. As you can see, uh, got uh, a little bit more 
Uh, well, I got three more tanks than I had before because, uh, uh, well, it looks nicer. But anyway, uh, this is Jay Lee at FrogTube.com. Thanks.